It's fun learning at Jumble House, so come on in. Today it's all about how you can help your child with letter recognition and phonics. Of course, no one needs any introduction to the old game of I Spy, but it might be an old game, but actually it is still fun and children love it. Putting stickers onto different places in the house is a good way of reinforcing letter recognition. Make a dice out of an old cube tissue box and put some letters on. Then cut out some pictures from magazines. And the idea is that you throw the dice and whichever letter is on top, you have to choose a picture from the pile of cutout pictures. If there isn't a picture beginning with that sound, then you miss a turn. Plastic wallets are very useful if you cut them in half and then you write a letter with an indelible pen on the underneath side, then children can write over the top and they can also mould the letter with plasticine or with a pipe cleaner. Make an old shoe box into the letter of the week box and you can change it each week. Inside you put lots of things that would be really useful that week for the child like stickers and felt tips and play-doh etc. Make a little book into your letter of the week book and each week you put in the different letter of the week and the child can draw over letters that you've put in as dots and also put in stickers which begin with the letter the sound of the week. For post-it, you just need some stickers and put those on some small cards. Then you just need to get a piece of card and stick maybe four or six envelopes onto the card. Or if you haven't got envelopes, you can just cut some uh, paper out and sellotape those onto the board. Just make sure that you have got them loosely put onto the board so that you can get your finger in. Otherwise, they're gonna to be torn straight away. Put the board on the wall and then give the child the cards and they can slot the cards into the correct pockets. These are just a few of the many fun activities you can do with your child to help letter recognition and phonics. You'll find lots more about phonics and pre-reading activities on my website. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you will watch some of the other videos on my channel.